These are items I've collected over the past few weeks at several different thrift stores. I'll put the price that I paid on the screen because I'm gonna have to look all of them up. I got this cute crop skeleton t-shirt and several other pieces for one of my favorite little hole in the wall thrift stores where all the clothes are a dollar. So I definitely know I got this for a dollar. The brand is Social Culture and it's just a little cropped white shirt with a skeleton and flowers and some butterflies. This striped long sleeve shirt is a little bit cropped and it has a bit of a square neckline. It's really cool and very trendy, I feel like. I saw a shirt just like this at Target the other day. It's by the brand Public with a K and this was also a dollar. It's really cozy and I love the kind of 70s colors. This sweater was only a dollar as well. The original brand is Glimmer by JJ Basics. I used this for my Halloween outfits video and it was perfect. It's definitely like spooky romantic vibes and very cozy, it's such a steal. This is just a basic black short sleeve t-shirt, but it has kind of longer sleeves to it. And it has this kind of textured detail where it's like built in stripes. What is that called? I have no idea, but it's originally the A New Day brand from Target. I live in Florida, so it's ungodly hot out most of the year. And I found this tiny little cropped tank cami thing. I love the really thin stretchy straps. This is gonna be great for the summertime. This is actually a mesh bodysuit with these big flower embellishments on the front that are like patches kind of sewn on. The original brand is Rare London, but I hate bodysuits, so I'm definitely going to cut off the bottom part, but I really got it for this sheer black sleeve to have for layering. I'm not sure if I'm gonna leave the flowers on or not, or just take them off to use it as a layering piece, but this was also a dollar. This cozy long sleeve is originally from Rue 21, which I used to love when I was younger. I definitely don't shop there anymore, but this is a cute piece. I love the checkered print. This is gonna be great for layering, and I'm definitely gonna be cutting off the white chunk at the bottom. I think it'll be a lot cuter without it. And again, great for layering. Can you tell I love layering? I'm also gonna do a video soon showing me customizing my clothing by cropping them, bleaching them, dyeing them, painting on them to make them more my style. I found this cozy burnt orange sweater because I didn't have a burnt orange sweater. I love the mock neck. This is originally from Hollister. I wish it was just a little bit bigger, but I can still make it work. It could also be cute kind of tucking the bottom part under my bra so it gives it a cropped look. These black shorts are the Universal Thread brand from Target. They fit okay they don't fit perfect but at least i have some black shorts in my drawer now i'm definitely on the hunt for the, some perfect black short shorts and these are just cute and simple staple i was shocked that i not only found these for a dollar but i didn't try them on and they ended up fitting me pretty well not perfect but pretty well i mean i have a weird kind of disproportionate body. So finding pants and shorts that are structured to fit me is always a difficult task. So I'm super excited about these. The brand is Refuge. They're pretty ripped up. Just a great summer short. This piece is very ballerina core, like some people have been doing. It's a sheer dance skirt, very flowy. It's a little bit big in the waist, but I think I'm gonna make it work. And I think this will definitely be cute for softer looks when I'm feeling that way. I love little slip dresses, putting t-shirts under these. This is such a great staple piece for me, especially when it's blistering hot outside. And this is just kind of a nude beige color that I didn't already have. It does not have an original brand, but adding it to the collection. These pants I picked up the other day at a little flea market. She asked for 20 and I said 15 and she took it. They are vintage Cherokee, which I believe used to be sold at Target if I'm not mistaken, but they kind of look like painter's pants. I'm not mad at it. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna dye these ones black. I love the big pockets. These could also be cute cut into shorts, but let me know if you think I should dye these black or cut them. Pretty sure I'm gonna dye them black. I remember when these came out at Urban Outfitters, they're these really cozy, almost like made of blanket material jumpsuits. This one is the cream one, and you guessed it, I'm going to be dyeing it black, which I'm really excited about. It has a very open back and thin adjustable straps. The last item I got 
specifically to resell and it's a very rare occasion if I buy something specifically to resell it on Poshmark but I just thought this was so cool and trendy and somebody would love it it's just not the right colors for me because it's pink and purple and I do not like pink this is a ski jacket or possibly a windbreaker I think it's specifically supposed to be a ski jacket very 80s with the bright pink and purple and some cool designs the brand is san francisco originals so if you are in to this jacket because i think this is such a trendy piece right now definitely go check my poshmark which is at maddie hearts i'll link it in the description down below i'm adding a lot of new pieces on there Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed, make sure you give it a like so I know you did actually like it. You can follow me on Instagram and TikTok. It's at Maddie Hearts. I'm super active there and it's always linked in the description down below. And be sure to subscribe for more thrifting and spooky content. Bye.